Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 6 of my Ancient Relic Mode playthrough. So, we're making some really good progress here. I've got two dungeons lined up today. I think I do want to try to do Golem Territory. I think it's the natural next step here instead of skipping right to Dragon's Den. Um, I haven't done much with summoning, but I do have this barrier gem which does give me some flat barrier damage. So as long as the barriers don't regenerate, I should be able to do it. As long as the amount of damage the enemies do don't go too far beyond my auto eat. But like um, this guy, the protector of ice, at this point I've been able to just idle this because it's 60 health below my auto eat. And I'm going to show you why. While I was playing, I managed to find this hit points, which gives me 50 maximum hit points. It's a really good relic. I think that's the most important one I found. I just found this one, minus two prayer point cost for prayers. And I also got a pet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the kangaroo jack one. Lil Ron. Pretty good. Right now, uh, I've got all my melee attack skills up to max. I've just been smacking away at rune knights and the purple goon monsters to get enough gold and armor. So I've got all this. Couldn't get the helmet to drop for some reason. I the amulet of defense on. This kit is actually really good. And I've got the eye sword, which dropped from this chest. But I've just been trying to build up my ranged kit here. But I think what I'm about to do I just run from this and equip my second gear, probably just my first gear setup actually, which is the bow, and just try to get my ranged up to 40 so that I can start equipping some of this icy gear. Now, I do want to work on thieving a little bit, at least to get up to Marauder, because I want to be able to get crossbows. It's not really viable for me to craft them right now, but the Marauder can drop a Adamant Crossbow, which I can use. It can also drop a Rune Crossbow, which I can use. Um, Marauders also drop Dragon Crossbows, which is level 60, but those are going to be very good as well. Problem is they don't drop bolts, but I have Fletching pretty high leveled up. I can craft some bolts. That's not too big of a deal. And I have Mining and Smithing both leveled up, so I can make the headless bolts no problem that's not a big deal the issue just comes from being able to level up ranged i'm probably just going to stick it on rapid i should have do i have the gold emerald ring yet i'm going to go get that actually because i can kill these things really easily i need to swap over to my other non-dungeoning food open up these food crates i'll equip the shrimp sell these go ahead and move the shield over and open this there's the play body, that's pretty nice. I've had pretty bad luck with the play body and the boots, or the pants. Um, I've been mainly getting the shield, the helmet, and the boots. But these are pretty good, they give 3% DR, which is the best for range at level 40. So yeah, along with the rune crossbow, that should be a good enough kit for me to take down the Hall of Wizards. So I'm going to sit on this for a little bit until I get the gold emerald ring, which isn't that rare of a drop. It's down there a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. And I'll get back to you momentarily. Okay, so the gold emerald ring dropped. I wasn't looking. I actually got two of them on accident. That's fine. Run from this, equip that, um, and then back into the grind. So goal is to hit level 40 with range. I do wish I had a slightly better bow. I guess what I could do is just slowly clear bandit base with my bow. Um, these guys should not pose any threat to me whatsoever. Uh, and I should be pretty good at being able to handle this, even with ranged against ranged. Melee would be better. That's not very efficient though. I'll just stick with this. I think this should be good enough. It'll be slower, but you should still be able to hit level 40 pretty easily. It's not like that super high level really. Um, we're just sticking on cows. I normally can hit them like twice. And you'll see that they have a weird number of health. That's because if I go down to hit points here, minus 15% maximum hit points for the target. So these guys get minus 15% max life, which is pretty handy. I need some more bank slots really bad. I can't afford a lot of them. I'll buy five. All right, yeah. So I'll, keep, I'll come back to you once I'm level 40 range and I can start equipping my ice set. Okay, I literally just right now hit range level 40. I'm about to get in bed, so I have to finish this in the morning. But I can now equip all this ice gear on my second equipment slot. The only thing I'm missing right now is the pants. I'm forced to use the ice longbow as of right now because I don't have any crossbows so I'm probably gonna go and work on thieving a bit in the morning and get I can probably overnight these if I'm honest oh yeah because I have thieving shoes yeah I can overnight these and this will just slowly level me up so I'll probably do this overnight and then when I get back in the morning hopefully my thieving will be leveled up enough to where I can go down 
start thieving the marauders for crossbows and then once i get probably the rune crossbow adamant crossbow would be good too i'd be happy with that but the better the crossbow is the higher my damage and the higher my chance to hit so the dungeon is quite a low level dungeon so level 40 equipment should be very easy uh, make it very easy and then we get 50 more hit points 50 uh, five more levels on everything and we get some more skill levels so i'll see you guys in the morning when we tackle that all right so it's the next day i've been working my dick off to try and get my arranged kit ready to go so i leveled up thieving overnight like i said i would went on marauders and did those until i managed to get the rune crossbow which is the best i can equip at level 40. I've got my ice armor. I think what I'm probably going to do is just equip the rune pants instead of going and trying to get the ice pants. It doesn't really give me that much of a detriment to range damage. Um, just minus seven, which isn't that big of a deal. But it does give me two extra uh, percent damage reduction, so it's pretty good. And then I have my elite amulet of defense on here, and right now I'm fletching up some topaz bolts to use. And I think this should be pretty good for clearing the Hall of Wizards. This should make it quite easy. So when once these uh, bolts are done fletching up and I feel like I have enough, I'm going to run in there and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I've just made a thousand bolts. I think that's probably good enough. So now I'm going to try and do this. It should be pretty easy. It's far back in the dungeon, so this shouldn't be a problem. But wizards do tend to do a lot of damage. Hopefully we can get through this okay. Oh, I should probably swap food first. I doubt I'll be able to idle it or anything like that, but I should be able to clear it at least one time. Uh, so the Dark Wizards can't kill me, but I assume the boss is going to be able to because these guys are kind of close. So I'll probably have to manual heal. Alright, I think one more Dark Wizard, and then we're on to the boss. Alright, Elder Wizard. Nope, he can't kill me. Okay, so we're chilling. I can just sit here and let this go, but obviously we're going to clear this. So you'll see me again once I can pick what skills I want to level up. All right, he's one hit. He's one shot. Okay, so now we're into this. Ooh, astrology is nice. Slayer is really good. Uh, let's go ahead and get archaeology up. Do herb lore. Ooh, cartography. Getting cartography up to 35 is really good. So now that I have that at 50, that I can pretty much do most of the things I would want to do at this point in the game in a cartography. Now, in terms of the next dungeon I would want to clear, which is Golem Territory, I might actually go and have a go at um, the Dragon's Den first. Reason being that the I was looking at the wiki and these barrier guys have so much barrier. I only do 15 barrier damage per attack uh, without summoning. So it's kind of, I guess I can show you real quick. The first, uh, nothing can kill me. So I mean, realistically, I should be able to get through this. I think that the final boss might be able to kill me the c15 and also my chance to hit on these guys is really low so let's just check out dragon's den really fast and see if i can maybe do this i'm gonna guess this is gonna be really low oh, these guys do a lot of damage then yeah elder dragon does 470 which is absolutely bonkers even with my dr that's like way above my auto threshold he'd definitely kill me so yeah between this episode and the next episode i'm gonna have to call it here but i'm gonna work on summoning a bunch and try and get some more high damage summoning uh, up and then we can try and clear golem territory not much i can do in terms of actually increasing my gear in terms of like the difference between level 40 and level 45 so this is probably what i'm gonna have to stick to to be honest other than getting a rune helmet but i wasn't able to get that to drop i would like to get better gloves and now i do have slayer up to level 40 which means that I can get into the runic, oh no, I can't get into runic ruins, that stinks, but I can get into the holy isles and I can get paladin gloves. And paladin gloves are way, way better than the garbage gloves I have on right now. And then I have the crystal caves here, which I can also get into at Slayer 40. And these guys can drop some good stuff, like this guy can drop bolts. Yeah, they drop bolts. This guy can, yeah, they all drop bolts, so that's cool. And then whatever this stuff is, I have no idea. But I'll probably get into that at some point as well. But yeah, I've been Captain Blemo. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace.